We have had such a busy week and we have so much to show you inside this boat that we've been getting on with, including sneak preview. <laughs> the flu is going through the ceiling. We will show you that later in the video, but first it is a beautiful day and we have had a new toy delivered, which we're desperate to go and play with for the first time. So let's head outside. I can't believe how small that is. Great. Hey, ready for an adventure. We've been wanting to try stand-up paddle boarding for so long. Every time we see any boarders go past the boat, it just looks so relaxing, a really lovely mindful way to get out into nature, enjoy the canals, enjoy the countryside. And we've just been kindly gifted the brand new cruise light paddleboard by Bluefin. And this afternoon, we're gonna give it a try. It's not something I've ever done before. I've just watched a five minute instruction video on YouTube for how to do it. So hopefully I spend more time on the board than in the canal. <laughs> I've wandered about five minutes down the canal just because I wanted to get away from all our boat neighbours in case I end up going in the drink. But it's just so beautiful up here as well. I adore this time of year. We're just coming into early summer and this little section of the canal near us, I, it just reminds me of something from Jurassic Park. You know, we've got all the trees coming over. I just think it's just absolutely beautiful. So it should be the perfect spot to try stand-up paddleboarding for the first time. Should we have a little look and see what's inside the pack though? Apparently everything is included just in this. Ooh. You know what's really nice to see? Stuff in cardboard packaging. It's so much better because like so much stuff you get is just covered in, in plastic all the time. So nice to see that this is covered in cardboard. What have we got? So that's the fin, I think, for the bottom of the paddle boards. I think this must be like the leash bit that goes onto uh, your ankle, phone case, waterproof. Breakdown cover manual. Can you get like the A8 to come out? Oh no, that's a puncture repair kit. Do you know what you're doing with that? <laughs> Do I know what I'm doing? I'd like to have a go as well, but I will go after you. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have a go. This is literally Jack's dream. For the last year, he's been banging on about how much he's desperate for stand-up paddleboards. Longer than that. It's been longer than a year. It has I been longer than a yeah, year. I've... So this is the day. Since we've like, had the boat, I've been wanting to have a go at this. I guess we've just got the board itself left. If you're in a small space, like van life or whatever, adventuring, just all packs away into there. That's incredible. There she is. In all her glory. That's just that I've matched my shirt with the colour of the board as well. <laughs> do you know what we should do actually? We should set a little timer and just see how long it takes to pump it up. Ready? Go. Go. Getting tired yet? Oh, I'm gonna have a bit. What's that? 15 PSI. In. Four minutes and two seconds. I mean, I'm just slightly out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> you could go it's slower. Good. You could go slower, take it more leisurely. But it's a good workout pre paddleboard. Look at that. There's two things that are terrifying me about this. Not terrifying me, but you know, making me nervous. First, it's being able to stand up on it. Um, and second, what happens if a boat comes? If a narrow boat comes along, what do I do? Just get to the side. <laughs> fall in the water and panic. <laughs> Please no. Uh, I'm gonna go shoes off. We also, we know we said we've done a lot in the boat, but what we still haven't done is the shower. So if Jack does fall in the canal, we have no shower to wash you off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> I think just take it really slow. Yeah? Yeah, you'll be fine. Take it slow. I 
you want to get on Tails? <laughs> this is what my dream is to be paddle boarding down the canal with Tilly, just like, oh God. Oh gosh, careful. Right. You've got your pole? I haven't got my pole. It's just by Tilly. That's it. I'm going to kneel down at first. Yeah, get used to it first. Yeah. Look at you go! I'm gonna have a go at standing up on it. But I don't know whether to do it when like, is it best to be moving whilst you're doing that? Or is it best to uh, do got it a... now? Don't have a clue. Cause it's more stable when you're moving. Really composed. I'm up. Well done. Right, I'm going to have to keep moving, I'm afraid. just pulled in because there's a boat coming past and this will be the moment where I fall in when there's when it, people coming. <laughs> I'm kind of clinging on to the bank for dear life because obviously when the boat goes past it's going to create a bit of wash so there'll be some waves coming and stuff so I'm a little bit nervous about that. It's so nice though honestly like it's just so peaceful and you got you know you've got the chiff chaff going in the background and that side over there is kind of it's sort of wildernessy really there's no footpaths or anything going through there and often when we walk down here we see deer like on the towpath and then that side of the bank so I'm kind of hoping we get out like early one morning and just see nature just doing its thing. Right, I'm going to cling on nice and tight. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Is <laughs> it alright? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do I look composed? Really look composed actually. Composed I feel. Like a pro paddleboard. Oh, yeah. I've used one of these, so. uh, it's the first time I've used one of Not quite as composed going backwards, is it? Isn't it? Final review. It's just really great, honestly. It's it's so it's so calming and so relaxing, and I, it just feels like it's really it's really mindful when you're out and you've got all the greenery around you, and all you you know you're going really slowly, and you just hear the water just gently lapping around the paddleboard. It's so lovely. I, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed it. As my idol Alan Partridge would say, what a way to have a good time. <laughs> Considering I've never paddle boarded before, that is such a brilliant hobby. What an amazing way to spend a bit of time. Um, I've deflated the board and packed it all up and got it back into the case, which was one of those jobs I was a little bit you know about because it's a bit like when you go camping you get the tent out nice and easily but trying to get it back into the bag is always a nightmare i've never been on a board before so i can't compare it to anything else but i had a brilliant time what an amazing amazing way to enjoy the canals and enjoy the countryside look if you do want to find out any more information about this i'll pop the link below 
down in the description and you can find out everything you want to know about the brand new Bluefin Cruise Light stand-up paddleboard. Right, let's get back to this boat build. Right, I know it's going to sound like Groundhog Day, but this boat and our lives are once again in complete chaos. Just look at that, there is stuff everywhere. It's, um, it's because I have started filling in the screw holes on the bottom half of the lining with the idea that sometime soon I might get a little bit of paint on there just so it starts to feel a little bit more like a home. Um, and I think it'd be easy to get some paint on there before like all the plumbing and stuff goes onto that wall. So yeah, that's the reason why. Um, but it does mean that like all the belongings, all of our furniture is now in the middle of the boat. I've had to bung Tilly back into the bedroom so that she's out of the way, which I think she's quite enjoying because she is basically just using it as an opportunity to have a really, really lazy day. But there is a lot to tell you about in here. It has changed. So let's have a little wander around and I'll show you what's been going on. We now have a fridge. Look at that, it's all wired in, it's all set up, which is just amazing. It feels like such a luxury. So now I have like a nice cold drink at the end of the day. Um, it's 12 volt. We've gone for this really like retro sort of style um, from a brilliant company called Inlander who basically convert fridges so that they will run on a 12 volt system. Um, it's an X display model, so we got it for a really good price. And yeah, really, really happy with it. Honestly, it just feels like such a luxury to be able to put things like, you know, like your oat milk in it, your leftover food, and like a nice cold bevy at the end of a working day. You know what, it's really busy out in the canal today. We've had loads of kayakers and boats going past. I don't know if I've missed the memo if today's meant to be like moving day, but so many people have been trundling down and getting to the water point. I love it, I love watching all the boats go past, but it's been really busy. Um, right, the next thing to show you is that back cupboard, which I was working on at the end of last week's video, which I still haven't done. Um, to be honest with you, it just needs screwing in place. So that goes in quite neatly up against that wall. And I've cut out the bottom half of it as well, which is a bit of a tricky one because like our swim, which is where like the boat kind of comes in a little bit, it comes around there. Um, so I've had to like jiggy out quite a neat triangle. I've done quite a good job of it. I'm quite pleased with how it's come along. Um, but I just need to build like a bit of framing with some wood to go around here and then I can get that all uh, all screwed up and in. So it's a job which I'm putting off for a little bit. I'm kind of thinking I need to run the plumbing underneath it first before I put it in, but I keep on going round and round in circles. So we'll have to wait and see. But everything's cut out, it just needs putting in. This is what I need to tell you about next. <laughs> Look at it, it's in. Honestly, it was such a job to do this. Um, like so many layers to it. First, trying to work out where it was gonna come out through the ceiling was difficult because there's a real small gap that we've got in between our solar panels that we have to come up through because obviously our whole roof is basically covered in solar panels. This is gonna be an entirely solar powered boat. Um, so we had to make sure that we didn't come out underneath one of them, which was a lot of fairly detailed measuring. And as you know, measuring is not mine and Gabby's strong point. So we had to do that. And then trying to get like the pilot hole to cut through the steel. Like, I, I, my drill just wouldn't do it. it. It Honestly, it took me about 40 minutes of constantly drilling upwards to try and get the pilot hole up and out. We could use that as a reference for how wide a circle that we had to do. And then my jigsaw wasn't meat enough to cut through the steel on the roof. I mean, what is it, like four mil, five mil steel? It just wouldn't go through it at all. I went through about three different jigsaw blades. It, it just wouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't do it. I don't know what it was. Like on our other boat, Flora, managed to do it absolutely fine. But this one wasn't having any of it. So we had to go and ask our boat neighbour, who has an angle grinder, to come and help us out. And um, like, this is what I love about boat life. It's such an incredible community and people are always willing to help you out. Um, so he came over and helped us and like, it was just one of those moments where like he's a, he's really good looking um, and he's there kneeling on our boat roof, angle grinder out, sparks flying everywhere and I'm standing there with my little jigsaw just like, <laughs> oh. But so kind of him for him to come and do that because it's a massive, massive job. 
ticked off the list. We've got the flu coming through the ceiling. It looks great. I'm so happy. And yeah, that is just one of the best things about boat life. Like people are willing to come and lend a hand, help out for even like a rubbish job like that, like to cut a massive hole through a steel roof. It's just such a lovely community. The next big thing that I need to show you is in the bathroom. You may well have clocked it already from by the fire, but there is now some piping on board. So this is a job which I thought would be a massive faff, but honestly wasn't too bad at all. We now have a water pump, which is this blue thing. Um, I've connected the pipes up to the water tank, um, which went fairly seamlessly. I've got the stopcock all in, and I've managed to run the cold water pipe from the water tank down to a tap. And also I've got the hot water piping running uh, ready for when we get the chlorifier and the hot water tank all ready to go. I'm gonna move out this position because it's quite uncomfortable. <laughs> So, although the bath isn't quite yet up and running because it's still being used as our shed, it is quite exciting to actually have a tap that works on board and it means we haven't got to keep going down to the water point down there to get water to come and do our dishes and all of those sort of jobs. And it does actually work. Hang on. Right, here we go. Honestly, the novelty of having things like a fridge and a bit of running water, it just feels like luxury. Sorry about the general state of the hob. In case you um, couldn't tell, Gabby's away for work at the moment. So I'm home alone and she is much better at keeping on top of the washing up than I am. She is the tidy one. Um, I put that pan of water to heat up so that I can have a towpath shower. Now, we still don't have a shower and bath and stuff running on the boat just yet. We've had some people who've been very kind to us. Um, a lady called Sarah, who lives in the same village where our mooring is, who's kindly allowed us to use her shower, but we don't want to use it, you know, too much, so we start taking the mick. Um, so every now and again, I have a towpath shower which is literally getting a pan of hot water, getting a little bucket and pouring it over my head and doing the pits and essential parts. It's uh, it's an interesting way of doing it because you've got to try and time it when it's nice and quiet out there. There's no walkers and there's no boats going past and stuff like that. But look, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if you want to see that. So we'll probably say that's about it for this week's video. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the update. If you want to follow along, um, for the journey of us turning this absolute chaos into our very own floating home, then click subscribe and tap the little bell icon next to it and then you'll get a notification for every time we upload a new video. We are trying to get a bit better at uploading to a schedule, so it should be out next Sunday around 5 or 6 p.m. UK time. Um, and if you want to support the channel even more, we have got an account on Ko-fi, so if you want to buy us a brew, you want to buy us a coffee, that would be very, very much appreciated. And thank you so much to all of those who have done so already. It is so, so generous. And honestly, you allow us to keep on creating videos and content like this. So if you want to get involved in that and buy us a brew, um, the link for our Kofi account will be down below in the description. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another update. I'm so bad at doing that. Hang on. <laughs> Bye.